everyone to Skincare and Beauty with Perky Perkins. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of an eye look slash review of my Hank and Henry Live in Color palette. Um, this is Hank and Henry Beauty's first ever palette. He has had those little eye kits for the last two years because he's officially been out in business for two years now this week. Um, but just recently, um, earlier in October, he launched his first ever palette. Um, this is how it looks like. It's very colorful. It was inspired by the 90s, the graffiti, the colors, the shows, everything. Um, on the back, it gives you all the shade names. And here are the colors. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, I've been using this actually ever since I got it, but I realized I don't ever show love to Henry on my page, on my channel, and I wanted to do so. Um, he has such amazing products, and I've never made kind of like a dedicated video to him. There, he's always been a part of my videos, but never dedicated. So I'm like, shame on me for that because. I love his products. I love his formulas. Um, my little Chi-Chi card. So this palette comes with three different formulas. So nine colors, three formulas. It comes with the press glitters and then it comes with the canvas mattes and it comes with finger foils. So from my experience, just so you guys know, the mattes have a little bit of kick up, but nothing too crazy. As long as you tap your brush before application, I haven't really had much fallout, but it does get a little dusty. And for the shim for the the pearl pressed pearls and the foils, it is recommended to use your finger. But if you're like me and you got nails, you can always go in with the brush as well. Just make sure you have it wet. Um. I will insert some pictures of the swatches, um, which I had previously. You guys could see how beautiful the colors are. The payoff is amazing. Um, you can really complete any look you want. Um, yes, there's no light, light shade tone, but this color right here can be um, feathered out or blended out sufficiently to actually be a nice transition shade as well or a nice base color but or you could just have it as a complimentary palette I believe Hank and Henry right now has a 40% off sale I forgot the code I'll make sure to write it below but it's his Black Friday and his two-year anniversary this week so that's amazing so they have 40% off going on right now and there will be some mystery boxes coming soon as well. Um, I will also be showing you guys um, the Luster Veils in action. Today I use Nightlight. Um, you guys know, again, I love Hank and Henry. I love his products. So if you guys want to see how I created this look, keep on watching. But before you go any further, Remember to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and let me know if you own any Hank and Henry products. If you don't, are you going to possibly pick something up with the current promotions running at this time? Let's go. So I'm starting off with Rosalinda and I'm shaping out my crease because I'm going above the crease line and as you can tell I am leaving a little bit of a gap near the bottom of my outside corner because I will be going back and filling it in now right now again I'm just applying as much color that I want because I will be going back to blend it out I just want to make sure my shape is there which looks a little crazy. Now I'm going into Dragon Blood. 
with a fluffier blending brush from Luxie and I'm filling it in on the inside corner and kind of connecting it also to my eye shape. Now with a smaller detail brush, I took Rustage and I'm using it to blend out the outside edges of um, my two shades and I'm actually dragging it into the inside of my eye. I'm trying to make it have kind of like an ombre effect. And hopefully this angle shows it a little bit better it is gonna take a little bit of time to get the perfect blend that I'm actually looking for now I'm taking a Farrah brush it's a blending brush with no product and I'm blending and buffing the colors until I get the blend that I'm actually looking for Now I'm going back with my small brush that had the Rustage and I'm applying more of the shadow just to deepen up the inside corner a bit because I did lose some of that shade when I was blending it out. And I'm going back now with Dragon Blood and building it up again again it is a process in this case to get it to the intensity I want because I started off with the shaping and detailing and I did a very strong harsh line So I did add quite a bit more color back to the outside corner and I'm blending and dragging in the shades so that they pull to the inside but kind of fading away at the same time. And I'm doing this as kind of a base before I go in with my shimmer shades. Now that I'm going with my shimmer shade, which I'm using La Canela. I'm starting it off by tapping it with my finger and then once I'm done just kind of setting a base for it basically I will go in with my crease brush and kind of start shaping it out and to create more intensity you can wet your crease brush and start packing in the shimmer shade and as a reminder you guys this is a finger foil so it is typically recommended to be applied with your finger now I'm doing my bottom lash line and I started off with Rustige and I used a um, detailed packing brush to kind of buff it in and then I'm going back into Rosalinda with the small detail brush and just buffing it out and blending the shades so that they connect to the outside corner of my eye. Now I'm taking a another clean blending brush and I'm buffing out and blending out all the edges starting from the bottom and going upwards in kind of a circular motion as you guys can tell um, and I wanted to just add a little bit of more color and texture so I grabbed the color Pete Cock and just dab it lightly on my lids 
Now I'm going with my inner corner highlight and I used the Luster Veil in Nightlight and just popped it in the inner corner again and I will be applying it on my lid. I'm sorry, I'll be applying it on my brow bow as well. Now I'm applying the same nightlight shade all over on my high points and this does not require very much work to get that amazing payoff. So I'm using the Clout Mascara in the bottom lash line. I've already applied it on the top to blend my lashes and I decided on using the Mentirosa Lip Aesthetics. It was a nice complimentary nude tone for this look. So I'm going to use the Side Chick Gloss from Hank and & Henry and I'm just lightly dabbing it on the centers and I'll tap it in. So here's the look I completed with the Hank & Henry Living Color Palette. Um, I also used his previous launch, the Luster Veils Highlighters. And of course, I used the Slick With It Blickety Black and the Slick With It Clout Mascara in black as well. And I used for my lips, Mentirosa, which is considered his number one new seller, along with the Lip Lusters um, Side Chick. I'm trying to think what else did I used. Um, I also used some new lashes which were graciously sent to me by Coffee Talk Lashes. These were so freaking cute. I saw them on the site and they asked me if I would like to try them out and of course I said yes. These are faux mink lashes and they're so pretty. Her prices are very reasonable. I have to tell you guys though, I kind of messed up. You know, I'm not a pro at lashes and I kind of overcut them so I try to balance them out as best as possible but overall they really completed my look like I love it it's so beautiful um, I will pin down below all the information for the other products I use I didn't want to have such a long video for this um, I mean, you guys know how I feel about Hank and Henry. I haven't made a dedicated video to Henry and I felt bad. I'm like, I'm here making all these videos for other brands and I know I'm not a big time YouTuber, but Henry deserves it too. And this is such a beautiful palette. Um, you do get a little bit of kick up with the mattes by all means, but if you guys noticed, I just tapped my brush prior to applying and I had not a single bit of fallout now the shimmers and the foils they are considered uh, finger foils so they do recommend you to use your finger for the best payoff but you could still use a brush and that's why I wanted to show you guys that I started off with my finger which I always prefer to do and then I went with the brush and start shaping out my lid so I don't I don't like doing cut creases I suck at them so um, I always end up messing them up, but this is a great palette. I think it's like $27, $29. It's not very expensive and you can use like any of the codes. Um, like right now, actually right now you guys, Henry has a 40% off promo running, I believe. It's like a Black Friday deal. Um, if not, they always have some kind of promotion running where you guys could get this at a lower cost, like less than, 22 bucks or something like that so 
it's a great payout it's a great price point overall um, you get such beautiful colors to do any kind of look like this is like us more of a smoky eye look if you go to my instagram you'll see other looks that i've created with this palette as well because you really could do anything you want with it now i do wish there was a slightly lighter more of a kind of like a creamier tone color in here but then again we all have tons of other palettes so i'm sure you know if you wanted to get a lighter bone color for your, like your brow bone or something like that you could just make it a complimentary palette in your rotation but this is a really great quality palette you guys for those of you who haven't tried the Hank and Henry uh, Luster Veil formula this is just one of four you guys can see my Instagram they give you that wet look and not to throw any shade or anything like that it gives you that look like the um, Jaclyn Hill highlighters. I'm, I'm noticing that actually right now because you can see beautiful to the side face forward nothing side nothing So if you guys want something that's more affordable, you know quality control will be there We don't have to be playing guessing games. I'd recommend you guys checking this out and look at this. It's stunning And this is still more affordable than Jaclyn's <laughs> You know and he offers afterpay. The Hank and Henry Slick With It liner. Got the liners both in my Hank and Henry subscription box and while well, he still had them. And I also got it actually in my uh, BoxyCharm box. So that was pretty cool. I have plenty in rotation, but I like because they're very, very precise and I haven't had any issues with um, applying my liner and it doesn't transfer, which has been great because you guys know I have hooded eyes and the hardest thing for me is finding a liquid liner that doesn't transfer to my lid or just run off. I haven't had any issues and I can't wait till ex they expand the line with more colors. Now, I also used my uh, Clout Mascara um, for your top lashes. It gives you nice coating before putting lashes. But in all honesty, the thing I like it the most for is my bottom lash line because I'm always hitting myself in the bot when I do my bottom lashes because they're not super long and stuff and they're kind of like, you know, frail. Um, so it's really nice how it has that little tiny wand. It is a waterproof mascara, but it doesn't really give you much for lifting or anything like that. So if you're looking for something that gives you more volume this is not it but it is waterproof it gives you a nice coating um, and a nice base kind of thing it just doesn't really emphasize or volumize kind of stuff because I've seen people complain about that but I really hope you guys enjoyed my little tutorial and video um, you know I'm definitely gonna start trying to do more of these I have so much product in my house where I need to get through it um, one of um, one of my YouTube friends um, she has this um, palette roulette thing where she does it weekly and I think I want to start doing that as well I it's a great concept and it gets you familiar with your own palettes and it makes you go back and try some of the stuff you haven't touched in a while so I'm definitely looking into that and hopefully starting it soon um, but yeah, so anyways, thank you guys so very much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it again. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button before you guys leave. And if you guys feel inclined, maybe sharing my video, you know, trying to get to 500 subscribers. Um, I'm already close to 400, so I'm very excited. Um, thank you guys and you have a wonderful day.